Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. This time we are working on the Kylo Ren Geisha. This one turned out super dope. My baby, she loves this one. She likes the orange and yellows cause those are her favorite colors like fall and whatnot. And I really love this one too. Out of all, like, out of all three of them, I think that I love the robe on this one the most. But we'll get into that later on in the video. I ain't gonna hold you guys up anymore. Let's get right into the video. All right guys, so just like with all the other paintings, I start off with the under sketch first and then I do the gold leaf before I even start going in on painting. And like I said in the last video, I think I wanna start doing the gold leaf last, but I just get so scared that that gold leaf is gonna get on another part that's already finished and then I'm gonna have to go back, color match, find the right color, paint over it because that gold leaf is such a pain to get off or like, you know, to like work around. So I figured to do it in the beginning, but I feel like you get such cleaner result when you do the gold leaf at the end, but we'll, 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 we'll see. After that, I go ahead and start with a rough background. Wanted to get something down there to kind of give me somewhat of an idea of where I want the tones of the skin to be. So I started with a really dark orange background. After that, the first time in this series, I'm using the big brain moves and actually doing a undercoat before I start going in with like the first layers of everything that goes underneath. That makes sense to somebody. Then I start going in with the layers of skin and I feel like I could have spent a little more time working on the skin here whereas back in the Stormtrooper Geisha and the, the Mandalorian Geisha, I spent a lot of time on the skin. I'm pretty sure I probably did maybe just like one or just a, like just probably like one coat of skin on here and maybe touched it up just a little bit. And I think that, that I, I could go back later on to work on it but I think the end result turns out looking pretty decent by the end. Then I go in with what was probably the funnest part of this painting and that was working on the robe. Now, I didn't do an undercoat on the robe just because like I knew that I was just gonna just do layers on layers on layers. And with a lot of work that I'm working on now, I knew that like I was more confident with the amount of paint that I was putting on the brush. I knew it was gonna be thick layers on layers on layers. And I let this painting sit for like three or four months before picking it back up here at the new house to work on it because I was scared of working on the robe. And when I put that thing on back on the on the table to work on it, I knew that it was like, you know, screw it. I'm going in and I and I'm and it's gonna be carefree. Painting's supposed to be fun. So yeah, I didn't do an undercoat and I just started going in with the paint. <laughs> Then decided that I was going to let the coat breathe for a little bit. I had laid down some thick coats. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the helmet. I originally wanted the helmet to really look like the reference that I was using, but you'll see by the end of this, the helmet looks nothing like the reference that I was using. And I kind of just went ham and just did my own thing. I mean, it's my paint, so I'm gonna do my own thing on it. <laughs> This painting was really starting to get a whole lot of painterly vibes and I was all about that life. <laughs> After that, I was ready to get right back into my favorite part again, getting back to the robe. I couldn't wait to get back to working on the robe. I wanted to go in with some darker parts of the robe, like where her hand is and the uh, deeper yellows and more orange in those parts. And I kind of just wanted to get those darker parts in to kind of just boost that color. Cause you know, the oils are very vibrant colors. And yeah, the second layer kind of helped me do that a lot more. Then I started going in with like the flowers and all of that part. The floral part is what really set this joint off for me because these flowers aren't like perfect looking flowers by any means, but they do again have that painterly look. You can tell what they are. And I just really love 
this design because it looked nothing like the reference did. Not the same colors, not the same design. I kind of just like, you know, I'm letting my creative juices flow and I was just vibing out during this whole part and it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, it, was, it was a whole lot of fun. I don't know why I was so scared because it probably because I was trying to stick to the reference, but we're gonna kind of get away from that in, in, in future videos to come because it's about having fun. <laughs> Then after that, it was time to get those those signature Star Wars geisha things in this painting. I wanted to get the writing in the background. I had to get the gold ring around it. I had to get the comic book border to kind of bring all of these pieces together. So during this whole last part, that's what I'm working on, as well as just doing a little bit of refinement here and there, and just bringing this whole thing together. But it was so much fun working on this thing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to wrap this thing up. <laughs> all right guys and with that that's gonna be another video done <laughs> two videos in one week again <laughs> it wasn't three but damn we getting videos on videos from me and uh i think that's fun i think that the next series that we're gonna do is uh squid games joints and they're not done yet but um i think that those things are pretty cool maybe that's uh, maybe i'll do two videos next week or the following week and then um i've been working on some new stuff you can kind of see it in the background over there of just like some some faces that aren't like based off of like any any like real life references and whatnot i've actually been working a little bit with ai to kind of give me ideas on what to do and you know kind of just running with those ideas and making them my own but more of that to come in the very near future remember diy fest is coming soon so i'm definitely going to start plugging that more and more videos to come next month the 24th through the 26th in ferndale so come and check me out there if you're in the michigan area peace and all the love in the world to you and thanks for coming out i holla at y'all and catch me next time for some more sweet stuff. Is that how I say it? <laughs>